Hello, welcome back. I am Nurse Marcia. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Help me grow my channel. You can like, you can also leave a comment and you can share. Please share Nurse Marcia. Don't keep me to yourself. So my channel is for people who are looking for information about health so they can better understand different health issues, so they can better manage their health is issues. And I also, amongst the most important passion that I have is teaching people how to simply navigate through the healthcare system. Because healthcare in America is a business. And typically, the people who are um, the most profitable from the healthcare services are the insurance companies. So again, please consider subscribing to my channel and please just simply share Nurse Marcia. Don't keep me to yourself. But today I wanna to go a little bit of a different direction because I am a nurse. And many people may have heard about the scandal that's going on in the nursing profession. Apparently, there was a school in Florida, more than one, who decided that they were simply going to sell a nursing diploma. They were going to offer to sell you the diploma, including transcript, diploma, and verification that you completed this nursing program so you would be eligible to take a state test and become a registered nurse. I'm gonna play the video from the federal agencies that simply outline how this scheme worked. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more. Being here today as I, along with the representatives from our agency partners, announced the results of Operation Nightingale. It is a broad and coordinated law enforcement operation that, as its name might suggest, took aim at harmful fraud that affects public health in connection to one of the most cherished and trusted professions, and that is nursing. Our healthcare professionals play an important role in our public health system. We therefore expect our healthcare professionals to be who they claim they are. In three recently unsealed indictments by a South Florida grand jury and two informations filed, by, uh, filed on my office's behalf by Assistant United States Attorney Christopher Clark, 25 individuals have been charged across multiple states with wire fraud crimes, including conspiracy. Arrests have been made in Florida, New York, New Jersey, and Texas and search warrant has been executed in Delaware. So far we have made 21 arrests and uh, there are two more individuals who are surrendering within the next 24 to 48 hours. Schools are Siena College in Broward County, Florida, Palm Beach Nursing School in Palm Beach County, and Sacred Heart Nursing School in Broward County. According to the charging documents, the defendants in the first category that is the schools, they prepared and sold fake nursing school diplomas and transcripts to nursing candidates, knowing that the candidates would use those false documents to, one, sit for nursing board examinations, secure nursing uh, licenses, and three, ultimately, obtain nursing jobs in medical facilities, not only in Florida, but in elsewhere uh, across the country. The fact of the matter though is the nursing candidates have done no work for these diplomas. This was truly large scale. Over 7,600 fake nursing diplomas were sold by these Florida schools from about 2016 to 2022. At about $15,000 per diploma, we're looking around at $114 million paid for these documents. We estimate that about 30% of those 7,600 diplomas, 7,600 people who purchased these fraudulent diplomas, practiced nursing somewhere in the United okay, States. Okay, that is very, very disappointing to me as a um, nurse, as a registered nurse, um, someone who was a licensed practical nurse in 1982, 
and then I went back to school and became a registered nurse. It's very disturbing. I talked to a lot of my colleagues today, getting their thoughts about it. And again, all the real nurses I know, which I know no fake nurses, all of the real nurses I know that I went to school with, that I worked with, we are all just shocked. We are very disappointed because nurses has been, or nursing has been a very well respected profession. And this is real. According to Gallup polls, surveys, nursing has been the most respected, the most trusted, and ethical persons of all of the healthcare professionals. It undermines nursing in general. It undermines our reputation in our communities that we serve. It jeopardizes that survey that will not say that we are the most trusted and ethical professionals of all of the professions not only in healthcare, but professions, period. That undermines that. People are going to start looking at their nurses like, are you real or are you fake? Okay, so this is very disturbing to me and the people that I have talked to recently, colleagues, families, family members who have an opinion about this and everybody has an opinion about it. So let me tell you, going to nursing school and getting a real degree was not easy, okay? It was grueling. It was heartbreaking at times. You cried. You second-guessed yourself. You were humiliated by your instructors. You neglected your family and your friends. This is real. Nurses had to prepare their families before they decided to go to nursing school if they had families because the school came first. You had no time for anything other than to study, take the test, study, take another test, study, take another test until you finish. And then you go into clinicals where you had to be on the floor, ready to work at a certain time. And it does not mean if you need to be there at 7 a.m., 7.01, you were tardy, and you could be in jeopardy of being expelled from school. So this was not anything. That degree is nothing that was given to us. So when you have an organization of school that says, hey, we'll simply just sell you a degree, that is very, very disturbing. And I feel like they stole from me. They stole a part of my reputation. They stole a part of my hard work. Not only me, but my colleagues. They have jeopardized the future of nursing. What Nurse Marsha would love to see is that my state which I live in Michigan. I want the state of Michigan governing body to do something about that. According to the video, you have 30% of the 7,600 people past the state board. They're walking around here giving treatment services and to people who think they are a real registered nurse so and they're all over this country 2200 almost 3000 people are walking around all over the united states pretending to be a registered nurse and they're not so i want not only michigan to do something about it i want every state in america to find out who these people are and i would love charges to be brought against them they pretend to be nurses and they're not. I don't care if they did pass the state board. They have no ethics. They're not trustworthy. And trust me, if they will buy a degree and pretend to be a registered nurse, they will do some other things that 
would more than likely lead to some type of criminal activity because these people have no morals, they have no ethics, and they should be prosecuted. Their license should be taken away from them and they should have a consequence to their actions because the undermining all nurses who did it the right way through the blood, sweat, and tears. People lost relationships when they went to college, when they went to college to become a nurse. Some of our children kind of fell by the wayside when we were in nursing school. Our homes were a mess while we were in nursing school because cleaning and washing clothes and cooking was not our priority. Our priority was to get our diploma, get through nursing school, pass the test because it was fast paced. And if you slowed down, you were more than likely going to not make it. I have a sister who lost her husband during nursing school. She couldn't catch up, so she had to stop. She had to wait almost nine months to re-enter and start over. That's how it was, people. So nobody gave us this degree, and certainly we didn't buy it, okay? And we have ethics and we have morals, and this is just outrageous. It's outrageous at the least. So um, thank you for listening to my rant, but I just want um, the public to know that, yeah, it's about 2,200, 3,000 people that may be walking around here with fake ass license and fake ass degrees, but that is very little in the big scheme of things. So. If my advice is, if you feel like you have an incompetent nurse, simply ask for another one. You have that right. If you feel like your nurse does not know what she's doing, you can ask for another one. So I hope this helps. And again, please remember to subscribe to my channel, help me grow my channel, because I wanna be able to continue to bring this type of information to the public. So again, Share Nurse Marsha because sharing is caring. Bye.